one, we have a new package from good old Amazon to open. Ah, and this is my new exciting dash cam. So, last year, last year, I bought this Cobra. Um, it worked great while it worked. However, um, a few months ago, uh, it stopped working. Uh, it would work sporadically. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, it worked great for a year, but somehow, somewhere along the line, it pooped out. Uh, so, that was a, a front-facing camera and a separate rear-facing camera, which you could mount anywhere. But the new one, I did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos like you were doing here. And I ended up purchasing a new one, which we will open right now. Now, this one is a front and rear-facing camera all in one unit. Versus the old one that had two separate pieces. So, um, there's a lot of things that are different about this one. And exciting at the same time. So, good old Amazon. Packaging. And that. So, this is the Vantrue Dash Cam um, 2N Pro. So... There are two uh, Vantru dash cams, one on Amazon's 149 and the other one, this one, uh, 199. Uh, but there, there was a promo or a, a coupon, I guess, promo code to use, which I ended up doing. So I got this for 169, I believe it was. Uh, and I will post that uh, promo code in the description. So you can see and potentially use that. I'm not sure um, how long that is live for. But in the meantime, we will go ahead and crack this puppy open and see uh, what the contents look like. Wonderful quick start guy, but knowing me, ha, that goes over there. Uh, share something. Share. Oh, can you read that? Uh, oh, share your best videos. GPS receive. Okay. More booklets. Thank you for choosing Van True. Follow us. Maybe I will. And then a user's manual. Um, yep, a lot of good stuff, I guess, in here. How to set it up. All right, set that aside. Now, let's get to the product. The good thing that I liked about this one that I saw online the other day was uh, the cord, the power cord doesn't connect to this, it connects to the housing unit, which allows this to disconnect. So, um, for those folks that have two cars, um, you could easily put this, put two mounts, one mount in one car, one mount in another one, and then as you drive the other one, just take this out and move it to the other car, plug it in, or connect it to the mount, and you're off and running. Uh, so, set that right there. Some good old accessories. Let's see what we got here. Right. 
power cord, good old uh, battery, very thick cord. So of course, I believe this is 10 feet. Uh, plug that in, it lights up, and then it powers your unit. And a smaller cord uh, to connect to the computer so the uh, connect cables are here so you'll have your USB connector here and your other USB there for the for to connect this straight into the computer or so it does have an SD slot there the good part about this one is, let me go over here one sec. So the old dash cam, the Cobra, had a max uh, SD slot of 128, which I have here. This one has 256, so this one will hold twice as much data, uh, but the micro SD card pops in there like that. And turn around close that so it's pretty easy to open I seen a video where it was very difficult uh, the gentleman was saying but well now as I say it was easy it's easy the first time there we go so wasn't too bad uh, I guess if you have nails you can open it up pretty easy uh, so that is that here's the suction mount So the great thing, and I'll do a second part to this video, which I will put at the end of this, which is the installation, but uh, pull that off. So the suction mount is pretty cool. It has a uh, swivel here. So you apply that to the glass and you lock it into place like that. So it's very easy to remove from uh, one, one location of the window to a different one. Uh, if you so choose to have it move move it around and here are the connectors so let's go ahead and plug the USB in or the cable so you guys can see what that is like I said it connects here so I kind of wish it was on the housing or somewhere over here so it, so the cables not moving if, if you lock it into place or move it but uh, nonetheless it plugs into the side so let's pull a little bit of this out so you can see that it's right here it plugs in just like that and then you lock it into place well first probably lock it into place and then plug it so um, yeah and then you um, obviously hide the cord. Don't have it hanging down in your mirror, down down in front of your car. So a window, anyways. Anyways, all right. So here is the uh, housing unit. Uh, fairly small, a lot smaller from a display. Obviously, from the other display of the Cobra, uh, considerably different. But for me, I'm not really worried about the display because I am uh, not going to be, you know, looking at the. Uh, data from this screen uh, from a control panel perspective there's a lot of controls in this which I will also uh, do a quick video on and show you guys what that is but uh, here's the front facing cam or the rear facing camera so the unit kind of faces this way so here's the front facing camera uh, out through the window uh, you have your rear facing camera here for LED light so it lights up the cabin and all your controls so you can do a picture it's okay again i'll do a quick video on those here's your power uh your fast forward um, pause um, go back um yeah so it does not i mean it does move my bad uh so this depending on the the design of your car and the windshield uh you will need to probably tilt your inside camera to get the best uh, angle uh, relative to your uh, windshield and what uh, what degree that's that's at so uh, and then we take this here's the little teeth 
and the power connectors to that and we just slide it into place that's it so this will um, suction onto the window hide the cord and we have our camera ready to roll so the next part of the video will be me installing it um, not necessarily hiding all the cable but suctioning this to the windshield and uh, turning this bad boy on and uh, seeing what it looks like when it is uh, all powered up so uh, let's go ahead and move to that portion of the video all right so here we are in the car getting ready to install the Bantru M2 Pro um, so as you can see I have one hand I'm gonna put it here in the middle of the window push in clip it into place it is locked in there uh, now we will slide the unit into place you'll see how easy it is done so that simple position it to where you need it I already program or uh, put the wire uh, power cord in place and there you go that is in just like that now there you go there's the power so it is on it is very easy to install um, now the only thing that I would recommend or at least think about uh, for me personally um, as you can see it's kind of uh, down from the mirror inch or two or whatever it is a couple inches it's not necessarily in the line of sight um, but for me I like to be uh, I like to hide things the best I can so if it were me I would want to look at having the rear facing camera on this side so I can basically tuck this portion of the camera behind the rear view mirror. So the only thing that's really sticking out would be over here, which would be the rear facing camera. Unfortunately, it's on the right hand side and I really can't do much with that. Uh, so that's the placement of the window that I selected. And the next portion of the clip will be the quality of the recorded camera. Now, I want, also want to show you if you didn't pay attention, if you didn't see the, the um, display went off so there are different there's four settings I believe four settings for the display um, and I'll go through that in the next in, later on in the video as well but you can have the display turn off automatically after one minute after three minutes and then I believe after five minutes or you can have the display on all the time um, I my display turns off after one minute the camera is still going it's still rolling no issues um, so I will put a piece of this clip as I'm recording it in um, probably a, a split screen or, or a picture in picture so you can see me recording the screen from the quality of the video itself. So uh, I will do that. You'll see it in one of the uh, corners of this video clip here. And then I will, the next part of the clip will be the portion having to do with uh, me traveling down the highway, roads, whatever it may be, um, to so you can see the inside outside. I'll also put uh, a little portion of that, uh, whether it's daytime versus nighttime, so you can see the quality of, of those videos as well. All right, on to the next part. All right, so the next part of the video is a picture in picture of uh, different times of day, uh, both front and rear. Uh, so I have a picture in picture of the first one where um, as you can see the front camera so this is I put the camera on first a few days ago and it was at the lower part of the window so you'll see the windshield right there and the, the bottom part so that's just placement of the window but overall the quality of the video is very good uh, like I said um, or like I will say later on in the video uh, it's uh, 1080p on both front and back uh, you could disable the back or the it, the rear facing camera if you change the DPI uh, for the front camera to 1440 I believe it is so I just leave them both on uh, from an insurance standpoint and a total viewing area standpoint is pretty good 
Uh, total area of viewing, I believe, is 300 degrees. It's 170 uh, with the front-facing camera and 130 with the back. So a total of 300 degrees. Uh, overall, pretty good, so it catches everything from every direction. Uh, and the next clip that you'll see will be a night, a night clip, both uh, front and rear view here. All right, so now we have the night view, both picture and picture of the uh, front facing camera and the rear facing camera as you can see the rear facing camera in the top left hand side you can see the back seat clear as day well I would say clear as day clear as night um, and it is dark outside as you can see it is also uh, so I have dark tinted windows so you can see in the back seat just fine no issues um, and the quality of the front facing camera at night is still pretty good all right, so now we get to talk about the settings that uh, come with the Vantrue N2 Pro. Um, a lot of cool settings relative to um, the price and what it can do. Like I said in the earlier video, I kind of wish that uh, rear-facing camera was in the front. I mean, on the left uh, hand side of the device. So. Uh, inside the settings we have system setup, we have file, we have GPS settings, and we have recording setup. So we'll go into file setup. Oops, wrong button. Uh, we'll go into file setup. So this is what's on the camera. So events is where the camera locks that uh, into place and doesn't let the system override it. Normal is regular. Uh, normal uh, video, photo is obviously the photo part of you just snapping a photo and you snap the photo by right there to the left of my thumb on that little big square so uh, and then you can see all the videos uh, and all the files as well um, inside uh, like I said events is where the one that you see um, the car maybe got into an accident or this the device detected some sort of uh, jolt or, or impact to the vehicle uh, there's also a setting for that as well which we'll talk about in a moment uh, recording setup we'll get into uh, resolution like i said earlier the resolution uh, defaults to 1080 um, 1080p uh, so we'll get into file setup with obviously language we'll get back to the recording setup but File setup, obviously, uh, for the U.S. we want English. Um, and then format, if you want to format the actual SD drive, I would recommend formatting the SD drive uh, when you first put it in. Um, time setup as well. Um, so you put the time and date in there and uh, so on. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So it's May. Well, skip that part. Um, oh, so here's the LCD screen off that I was talking about. So that monitor can go off in one minute after startup, three minutes after startup, five minutes after startup, or it can stay on all the time. Uh, I have mine set to one minute. Uh, device sound, you can have it on or off. So device sound on or off will make beeping noises when you press these little buttons here. So uh, obviously it's just the device. It's not whether or not it records audio or anything like that. So. That's just the device itself. Um, Non-use power mode, right? Yeah, non-use auto power. So when you disconnect it from the uh, power cord or a housing unit, um, you can choose to uh, allow it to continue to record. Uh, the frequency in which it records 60 hertz or 50 hertz uh, system info will tell you the uh, software that's on there. Then you can also update the software uh, when Vantru um, installs or publicizes a new a new software version. Uh, so this one is up to date as of today when I'm recording the video, so no updates are needed. But I'll have a link in the description where you can find a link to their uh, website. <coughs> Default settings to erase all the changes and go back to factory settings if you want to do that as well. Excuse me. Um, next is, um, that's it. I thought, oh, so yeah, you can see 
the front facing camera um, and my hand kind of sorted right there. Um, and that is, I believe, that is the end of the...